Okay, everybody, I'm going to uh, try to print something with my Robo R2 printer. So it's off right now. I'm going to turn the power on there and wait for the thing to boot up. I decided to make a video um, showing exactly what happens here from the boot up process uh, so that you have a real good idea of how this. Uh, large R2 printer by Robo actually works. Did a lot of troubleshooting on it because I had a lot of problems with it. Um, what I am going to do in this video is try to print a um, a fidget spinner. Very simple, very quick print. Um, I want to show you while it's booting up that I have the filament here going to a spool and it's going through this little uh, filament detector, it makes sure that the filament does not run out. And it goes up the line here and to the print head. Print head is right now in the home position. And while I've been showing you that, this is booted up and says, Robo ready, let's print something. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, select files. And here's my spinner thing that I just created. Well, I didn't create it, I actually downloaded it, and uh, I use the standard Cura for Robo settings. I'm going to go ahead and start. So now what has to happen is uh, the print head gets into position to start uh, auto bed leveling. I'm going to actually open up this uh, door so we can see it a little bit better. There's the bed rising into position along the z-axis to get ready to print. Now the screen gives you the print progress bar so far at zero and if you see here the extruder should be heating up to the appropriate temperature and the print bed should also be heating up to the appropriate temperature so the printing can begin right now we're going to see if it levels the bed and starts the print I decided to shoot this video in uh, a vertical mode like this so you can see the whole thing better. I normally prefer horizontal mode over vertical mode. So let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. It stopped. And now, so three minutes into my attempt to print, it stops and the error I get there is heating failed, system stopped, heater ID bed. Okay, so I'm stuck here right in the middle of trying to level the bed automatically. I cannot continue my print and if I hit the reset button, it says connection interrupted, it's resetting the connection. It looks like it succeeds in resetting the connection, but if I try to print again, I get the exact same thing happening, and then I waste another five minutes of my time, and nothing prints. Uh, I've tried completely pulling the plug and powering it off. I've verified that the connections to the board are uh, good. All right, so reset successful, and then it just kind of sits at this screen. You can back out of it. It goes back to the main Robo R2 screen and it says, Robo ready, let's print something, but of course you can't. Uh, those of you curious what it looks like on the inside here, this is the hatch that I can open up. And I can see in here, here's my Robo motherboard. Here's the Raspberry Pi that everything is connected to. I've checked all of the connections and green light I assume means everything is good. Everything looks like it's plugged in firmly. I have not messed with any of these connections. I just kind of reached in here to make sure it's all connected right. 
Uh, it uh, just yesterday managed to complete a print, and today when I tried to print something else, this is what happened. So now you have a good understanding of how this Robo R2 printer is working for me. Those of you who have this printer, I hope that it's working better for you. And I really would love if Robo returned my numerous attempts to contact support and help me out with this. Um, yeah, that's it.